let's be honest here. We've all forgotten our friends or family members' birthdays at least once. And then we feel bad because we didn't give them a present or even wish them a happy birthday. Let's stop that. With an open source app called Birthday, you can easily keep track of any birthday and get notified a few days before to prepare a gift in time. I even love that it includes a countdown of every upcoming birthday, something that Google Calendar can't do for you. And you can keep track of other important events like anniversaries, death anniversaries, etc. Another annoyance is forgetting about specific food in the fridge and having them accidentally expire. Some foods like fruits or vegetables don't even have an expiration date, so you'll need to guess whether they're still edible in a few weeks. So a good way to make sure you eat all your food on time is by using an open source app called Best Before. It lets me input the food I bought along with the purchase and expiration dates. Then it'll notify me a few days before it expires so that I can eat it and it doesn't go to waste. It even shows me a countdown next to each item. Honestly, it saved me a lot of money and it doesn't cost a dime to install, so why not? And that's just a sneak peek at some of the best free open source apps that we'll be reviewing in this video. If you're not sure what open source means, it just refers to apps that have their source code out on the web for anyone to see. They have nothing to hide, making them safer to use than most closed source apps out there. I always encourage anyone to choose an open source app over anything else because transparency is such a huge key factor in security. And if you're looking to download only open source apps, Fdroid is the ultimate app store to find the majority of them because it only allows for free open source apps. And that's where I got a lot of the ones that I'm showing off in this video. So if you end up downloading at least one app, all I ask in return is if you can please drop a thumbs up on this video to help it get recommended to others and maybe even get subscribed with the notification bell turned on because quality videos like this are released every week and you're not going to want to miss out. And lastly, I just released a new set of amazing looking wallpapers that will always fit perfectly with any Android or iPhone that you have, along with some beautiful looking widgets. Only on my Patreon page though, which you can find down in the description. Anyways, it's no secret that almost every app out there has trackers within them, but some have more than others and even collect data that isn't necessary. It's scary stuff, and since I'm constantly downloading apps, I needed to find something that could let me track down and control all those hidden trackers. That's when I came across TC Slim. This lets me run a VPN that constantly monitors every app running in the background, so every time one of my apps contacts a company, TC Slim records it and lets me see the trackers that they were using, whether they were essential, and where the data was sent on a map. Then I can take action by stopping the app's internet access and even requesting data deletion by emailing the developer. On top of all the trackers, many apps compiled with intrusive ads, especially a ton of free games. Luckily, there are plenty of ways to block ads on Android, and I even made a video back in February showing off the best ad blockers apps on Android. But to cut it short, the simplest way to block ads is by changing your private DNS provider hostname within the settings to dns.adguard.com. This will instantly stop every ad found within your apps and websites. But if you're like me and want more control over your ad blocking experience, I would check out Rethink DNS. This app uses a VPN to stop every outgoing connection to ads or trackers. And it even comes with a firewall to let me block any apps from accessing the internet. Not a lot of ad blockers come with this. I also love that I can choose any DNS server of my choice or choose from a library of block lists. It's completely free to use, open source, and doesn't require root. Of course, there are other great options out there like Addaway or Blockada, but I just found Rethink DNS to be the best option for me. Now, believe it or not, Chrome itself is not totally open source. It's based on a project called Chromium, which is open source. So if you want a solid open source Chrome alternative that includes a few extra features like ad blocking, check out Bromite. It's also based on Chromium, so it looks just like Chrome, but it removes all the clutter. So no more annoying group tabs, unnecessary article spams when opening up a new tab, and a few extra options within the settings. For example, you can have links always open in incognito mode, have the history be recorded while you're in incognito mode, and even close all tabs on exit. Not a bad option if you're looking to declutter Chrome. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, whenever a site, app, merchant, or a watermelon ask for your email address, never, and I mean never, give them your personal one. 
Because I promise you, the more you give it away, the more likely you'll get spammed. Instead, use Simple Login, a free open source app that lets you create fake email addresses that forward any emails that you've signed up for to your actual inbox. Because the day that you want to stop receiving emails from those companies you've signed up for, you can simply turn off the switch and stop the spam. Protecting your password is just as important as protecting your personal email, and I think you all know where I'm going with this. A password manager. It's by far the best way to not get hacked and keep your personal accounts safe. I'm not gonna lie, I've been using Dashlane for the longest and it's been working just fine for me, but an excellent open source option is Bitwarden. It doesn't have any crazy features that make it stand out from the competition, but it is very light, simple, and straightforward. It has autofill, a password generator, checks for password breaches, and works across all platforms. Oh yeah, and it's free. What isn't free anymore though are chargers. Most phones nowadays don't come with a charger in the box, so that'll leave you with using an old one that may not even support your phone's fast charging speed, or you'll need to go on Amazon and purchase one on your own, but with so many options to choose from, finding the best bang for your buck can be difficult. That's why I always turn to Ugreen. Even though they're the video sponsor, I've honestly been using their Nexit GAN chargers for months and haven't looked back. They're reliable, compact, and can charge any device insanely fast. Their Nexus 65 watt charger is their smallest version yet, which is perfect for travel since it can fit into even the smallest pockets. It also maxes out at 65 watts, so it can juice up most of my phones at their top charging speeds. For example, it can charge my iPhone 13 from zero to 61% in just over 30 minutes. And it can charge a 13 inch MacBook Pro in less than two hours. Very impressive considering how small it is. It has two USB-C ports and one USB-A port to let me charge three devices simultaneously. And I never have to worry about any heat damage because the built-in power system intelligently adjusts the power output to each connected device to prevent them from overheating and getting damaged. So go ahead and toss out that old banged up charger that you've been using for years and upgrade to the Nexus 65 watt charger for the most reliable fast charging speeds possible. I'll drop the link at the top of the description. If you're paying for a service just to listen to podcasts, you may be throwing away your money because with AntennaPod, you can listen to those same podcasts for free. You don't need to sign up for anything, watch any ads, or pay a single dime. Any podcast you search up on this app will most likely be there and you can stream or download any of the episodes. I rarely talk about weather apps because a lot of phones already come with one. Still, that's not to say that they're amazing because a lot of them look outdated and lack information. Plus, they're not open source, so my go-to has always been Geometric Weather. It's free, open source, and it kind of reminds me of the old OnePlus Weather app with the beautifully animated weather in the background and all the weather info down below. I can switch between cities by swiping left or right. And I love that I can change the weather source within the settings. I wouldn't say it's the most feature-packed option out there, but it's still powerful and gets the job done. The dark mode on Android is pretty much set in stone, but one feature that I've always wanted is for the wallpaper to also follow the system dark theme. Dark mode live wallpaper solved this for me. It automatically makes the background darker when I switch to the dark mode and lightens it up when I go back to light. But here's where the real game changer is. I can even set a different image for the light and dark theme. So during the day, I can have a fun, bright, colorful background, while at night, I can have an amelin relaxing wall. Pretty sweet. I just wanted to throw an extra one in there for fun, and this one isn't even an app. It's a game called Super Retro Mega Wars. Pretty shocking since not a lot of games are open source, so I have to hand it to the developer for being so transparent. The game is also really fun. It brings back those old retro games, and I'm talking about those ancient ones from the 70s and 80s. You can play Asteroids, Snake, Breakout, Space Invaders, and a lot more. The best part is that you can even play with your friends. It's completely free on F-Droid. Anyways, those are the best free open source apps that I recommend you check out. Of course, there are hundreds of thousands of other great options out there. So if you wanna share a few of your open source apps that you use on a daily basis, feel free to do so within the comments. Also, I must remind you that if you downloaded at least one app, please be sure to drop a thumbs up on this video. And get subscribed with the notification bell turned on if you wanna see videos just like this every week. 
Either way, thank you for sticking to the end, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!